Hello, welcome back to Ministry Shea Leveling. In this episode, we're going to talk about this WSC texture node in Spreadshop. So this is one of the power node in Spreadshop. Basically, it does something automatically if you provide uh, the correct input. So the input it's needing is actually over here. This is the parameter and this is the output. Okay, it needs a sample image of some sort. So what is WFC if you ask? It actually stands for a wave function collapse. And the description of this is actually quite uh, strange as well. If you search, it's some kind of algorithm. And actually with this node, if you actually try to find the help documentations, and, and you will find into, you will go into this page. So it doesn't have documentation yet, but don't stop there because if you go to stretch up nodes under issues, type in WFC, oops, I pressed the wrong, just search for WFC, you're gonna have this. So wave function collapse, introductions into algorithm. So this is how uh, Durman actually created the node and it's based on this as well. So you basically provide it with some kind of pixel image and it's gonna generate a bigger picture based on this. It's almost like a magic. Yeah, so, so let's, let's say you have these two square, green and red, and those two can overlap. It will create Kind of pattern that's based on this so it's kind of kind of like the child of this same with this uh wfc if you actually search so this is mess up I, it's almost like ufc uh you gotta search wfc texture and this is one good example it's another good example okay so yeah so let's let's just try this right away um, there is an example example already by Durman uh, this is the example of course and with the nodes you provided with this image you're gonna get this image on the right be careful with the size because even just a small image will take forever it can take forever um, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you so file image editor I'll create new this is gonna be our source image let's make it really small uh, 10 by 10 pixel actually 16 just just okay so you have this black image uh, we're gonna just paint it a bit of white color on top of it this is a blender default brass it's too big. Let's make it really small. Stroke. And you're in the paint mode, okay. And let's make this brush one pixel. And turn off anti-aliasing. So with aliasing on, if you paint it, if you paint the white color, you're gonna get this aliasing, and you don't want that. Okay, you're gonna undo that. Just cover this. And so color, turn off this. Just paint a little bit. Let's paint like circle. Oh no, I still have anti aliasing. Why? because of the this fall off it needs to be set to constant I think it should be okay now and the aliasing off let's paint like circle or square or something and let's make like lines save as save it to desktop save it as Sample one. 
So this WFC will expect an image. Okay, uh, let's name this sample one. So you can, by default, it has periodic input. There's also rotate pattern. You can turn it on and off. So let's save this as WFC test. This is how I test new nodes in Spreadshop. I look at the documentation from GitHub and then and then I'll try it myself occasionally. It doesn't always work, but so let's try. This is gonna be 50 by 50 pixel. Just hit OK. This is untitled, right? The name. Or just name it result. Result file save. As a result, we're gonna use texture viewer. Okay, this guy. Um, gonna be 60 by 60. We're gonna set this also 60 by 60. And the output image. Plug this in. And just wait for a couple of seconds. We're gonna have result right away. Uh, this looks correct or yeah, I think that's looking pretty correct. There's also texture. Viewer light. Right? So this one is actually, you can pass this image into result. Plug that in. Okay. We get result right away, 60 by 60, but the... Uh, Something seems a bit off. Maybe if I turn on rotate pattern, it's gonna. Yeah, something's still a bit off. It's a. Uh, I'm expecting to see the pattern that's actually have this circle. The, uh, with the image, image there used to be a indicator here that says the size of this image. Let me try again. Okay, file new. So it's that's fifty by fifty. That's why it's not sixty by sixty. Okay, should be careful there. And I just type in sixty there by mistake. So this node, uh, you need to be careful, it's quite <laughs> calculation expensive, even just with just a small image. I think I should stop that. Therefore, you can create map from it and also like a texture like this that you can repeat. It's good for this kind of map, kind of like for IC kind of looking, or this is like a big room, this is a small room. And this one was just created using this simple image, 3 pixel. So it's going to be something. So I'm reloading the blend. Uh, hopefully it's not calculating too long. It's, okay. it's already generating something. Remember our mistake. The results should be 50 by 50. And this is also should be 50. By 50. Now we have something. We have something that really looks like it's coming from this small image. I have rotate patterns turned on so we have more randomness. And the cool thing about this, of course, you can randomize the seed and get new pattern. So this guy, this guy is still looking kind of weird, this small one. Uh, maybe it should be like RGBA, yeah, so okay. This guy is also giving, giving you the preview. So randomize the seed and you get new pattern each time. 
with Durman, Durman example, actually he, he, he gave this one example where you start with this node and then you look at the preview and then he use this kind of magic list join, list math equal blah 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 and then pass this into switch state based on a plain read and then you put also box and then all kind of thing this is like a something that I, I want to talk in the next live noting video I guess for now it's a if I try to do that it's gonna be a little bit too complicated but yeah see even with just a s simple sample image you're gonna get this interesting pattern it's not just like image stamping it's more complicated than that this is a again this is wave function algorithm uh, so if you search wave function function algorithm you're gonna get something that's equally uh, confusing from Wikipedia or actually this this article by Robert Heaton is pretty cool so you give it a give it an input sample and it's gonna sample that and then gonna recreate the pattern so you can create something like this mm, yeah maybe at some point I will try to make something like this it's like a kind of like the sim city so if you have like different pattern let's try create new it's gonna be or uh, should I just duplicate the one I have? Okay. How to du duplicate image? Let's create new image. Okay. Maybe I can just drag and drop it. It's easier. Copy, paste, sample two, drag and drop it. Here, okay. This is sample two. I already have my brush set up here, right? So X will switch to different color, so either black or white color. You can use different color, not just these two color. So let's do. Let's create shapes. Okay, we have dots now, so save as sample 2 and then you're gonna use sample number 2 and you can see the pattern is gonna look different alright so this is the result and then you can just save this and then randomize the seed there's also this option pattern size two usually two or three okay that's i have not i have not tried it but you can see how it's trying to keep the elements of this image pixel i should give it a try with a image pixel that's more like a more like an image like a pattern or icon pattern size let's try pattern size of two right Oh, this is actually faster to calculate. Not bad, actually. Not bad. And if we are using bigger result image, like for example, 100, this is result big. I don't know how long this can calculate, but let's try this anyway. 100, 100. Uh, there is also this tiling output which is I haven't tried so this should be 100, 1 by 100 and the result should be going to result this is 100 by 100, it's looking quite different Maybe the name was wrong. Yeah, it should be one. It should be untitled. So it doesn't seem to update. Hmm. 
Okay, now it's updating. So there it doesn't refresh. So this is slightly bigger, 100 pixel by 100 pixel based on this image. Let's try pattern size of 3. Hopefully with pattern size of 3, we're gonna see like this square, white square, and then black, and then there's another white in the middle. So it's gonna, it, uh, this pattern is gonna appear over here. Yeah, more or less, it's doing, doing that. It keeps the this kind of pattern, and it's actually repeating it over there. It does not have this circle. Maybe we can go higher. I don't know. It's gonna take longer. But that's a uh, basically what WFC texture is, and I'm explaining it really, really slow because I'm also still quite new with this, and this thing also takes a while on my computer to calculate. We don't do, we don't, uh, we haven't translated this to 3D yet, but I will do that maybe in the next video. Yeah, hopefully we can get this kind of result. Okay, so thanks again for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.